The definition of legacy, an amount of money or property left to someone in a will, a thing handed down by a predecessor. Let's talk about contemporary legacy and what it means for professional fighters in today's era of boxing. Let's discuss what it means to them or what it should. What's good, YouTube? Stormy B Man, and I'm back with another video editorial. Before we get started, I'd like to say shout out to the mighty LDBC and Liberated Perspective, a third eye view of the world. For more content such as this, please like, comment, subscribe, and share. The title of this editorial is Contemporary Legacy. This is a small conversation on a very big thing that is transpiring in the sport of boxing today. <laughs> and that is the subject of legacy. Legacy amongst the contemporary fighter. Most of the fighters of today are not necessarily fighting for legacy, though there could be numerous reasons that a fighter ventures into the ring. A great deal of it happens to fall upon the economic means and standings of an individual. The thing about that is, once a fighter begins to get to a place if he happens to be fortunate enough, your economic survival, what happens when you get content? When you have the home that you'd always dreamt of, you've been able to buy a home for your mom and dad, you've been able to shower your significant other with luxuries that were only dreamt of before. What do you have to fight for after that? It is important that a fighter understands that in today's boxing, you can be rewarded financially for doing little to nothing. But what will be your legacy? What will be the thing that people will remember you for when you can look back when it's all said and done? What have you contributed to the sport? And what did you do to allow yourself to stand separate from others? Will history be kind to you when reflecting upon your accomplishments? There are fighters today who have been evaded by other competitive fighters simply so that they can remain undefeated or those who have been apprehensive about being in the ring with someone who might make them look bad. 
not necessarily at their best. Where are the challenges, people? Where is that devotion to the sport? Where it's been said, steel sharpens steel. So if you get in there with someone who on paper going in, no one knows who can win this match. That's the time to bring out your tools. That's the time to spark that interest in your competitive juices that will allow you to be able to separate yourself, rise to the challenge, so to speak. We're seeing it too much where contentment seems to be the make of order. And these guys do not necessarily want to challenge themselves. This doesn't go for everyone. And just because the fighters that are depicted in these images, that doesn't mean that's their MO. Because we're speaking about the sport as a whole, but the most prominent names in the sport, some of them are guilty of these charges. Content, lack, luster, or motivation for being the best. How do we get beyond this? One of the things that I've maintained is not to entertain some of these individuals because they will pass like ships in the night when their careers are done. You will not look fondly back reflecting upon their accomplishments because the careers are stagnated and mired in mediocrity. For the ones who are looking to challenge themselves, separate themselves from the others, they will stand tall and alone, separated from these that we speak of who aren't motivated. And let's not forget those that the PTB puts in place just to have a sense of national pride and representation in the sport. And those are individuals who are safe safe kept from particular competitive fights that will exploit their shortcomings. That's another thing. If you cannot be the best, why don't you do something about it? Why don't you try to learn how to so-called stop someone from running? Cut the ring off. Polish up your tools. Understand what the jab is supposed to be there for. But you'd rather judges, officials, referees, sometimes even promoters, to work behind the scenes to keep you afloat in this these dizzy, rough seas. But for those who are of substance and sound mind, they know the difference. They can be able to pick apart you and know that you do not belong amongst the elite fighters in the sport. We can talk about this till the cows come home, but this will exist continuously as long as you allow an avenue for that to be there. You have to call it like it is. There are fighters, even depicted in these images, that people have avoided. Prominent names in the sport. And they have been showered and adorned with all types of accolades and consideration, but weren't tested against these men. That's the true legacy for a contemporary fighter to get in there and pit yourself against the best. Now, what demands will you make? Let's discuss it. This is Stormy B-Man. This is my editorial on contemporary legacy. Leave thoughts. Let's discuss it further. This is all I have for you at this time. Until we meet again, peace and everyone 
remain safe.